I get a pedal, music is like heavy metal. I would never ever settle. Give me anything I can do. I am not afraid of battle. Anything I want this matter. Burning it like I'm a candle. Run a beat like it's a saddle. Seeming like a music battle. People want to come and hustle. Leave you want to come and beef me. I will kill the cattle. Play it like I'm in the game. You know I'm ready to tackle. We are not taking competition. You're whenever when I battle. Hey, how can I ever be regular? Hey, can't see you deep in the scapulas. Hey, rhymes of the sick and the cholera. Hey, making my people go stamina. How can I ever be regular? Oh my God, I, I really don't know why I love the song. Uzi and Draymond were doing stamina. Now, have you, you, are you with him on, for, uh, on Instagram? Everything about this guy is about burning out is the uh, stamina. He gets to jump on a car, flies like Jet Li, and all of that. I love his body. You love his body. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to say? Talking He's about, working out now. I'm, I'm talking about his songs. Okay. Why the body? Why are you adding body to this now? My body has been here for how long? You've not talked about liking my body. Sorry, which body? Uh? This one. Are you, talking, are you talking about this one? <laughs> mm. oh, Alright, don't worry. <laughs> Uzi featuring Draymond and they call that stamina. Whatever body you want to talk about here, don't you worry. Keep it straight. <laughs> I just give you... Come January 25th, you'll be having that body. Ah, uh -uh, yeah. Ooh. I'm hitting the gym soon. <laughs> oh my god. You're being for now. A month plus, you're going to have that dream buddy of yours. What, what the meaning of dream? I got it already. So you just. Uh, what so do you just... have? This one. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, alright. Go check out our video on uh, no. YouTube. Seriously. If you're going. talking about checking out your videos on YouTube, this is not my real buddy, okay? Uh, <laughs> alright. I, I, I come 25th, I'm going to do that. And that's, I'm going to surprise you. Well, well, you can see Shino now. Just go by YouTube and type Rock City. Then slash it with Rock Launch. Then you see. All right, talking about the body thing, well, uh, Big Shark actually sets himself, man's not hot. And the lady said, take off your jacket and say, man's not hot. But you know what? When he got to Nigeria, <laughs> oh my God, after the performance, he took off his jacket. And now the person is, hey, what happened? He say, this place is real hot. <laughs> oh, Big Shark. I was like, hey, hey, man's not hot. We had to take off your jacket and say, hmm, man's not hot. But now you're in Nigeria. Uh, but no wrong, wrong me. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. It's another beautiful Friday, Faji Friday, TGIF, baby. It's about time that moment you all been waiting for to give it to you, pretty hard and team and unlimited, undiluted. And trust me, <laughs> it's happening here in Rock Lunch, Rock City, 101.9 FM, the voice of the people. And I am that guy you call the Fresh Prince, your Randy, Radio Lever. The one you know as Shina Aladit. Happy feel scarcity. Uh, what? What? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> what? I just feel like laughing. Today is one laughing day. Is it like? I just made that up. Okay. I made that up. Okay, fine. Yes, so. Today is my own laughing day. All right. Mm. So excited to laugh. Just well, laugh, laugh away your sorrow. That's yeah, good. of course. <laughs> it's we're uh, approaching the end of this year. Oh my god. Oh my my god. name is Alola Desoyan. Let's forget. Membrane. Don't put membrane. My dear. Everything I'm doing, it must stop by year 2018. <laughs> new year, new resolution. I'm warning you. Okay. Everything must. Oh, thank you. Everything must stop. Come first yeah. of January. All right. Because I wouldn't take anything from me. Man's hot by that time. Man's <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Well, get you know that um, uh, Rock City FM, we are a year older. Yeah, of course, happy, happy birthday, birthday to us. Don't, don't to sing. us. Don't sing. Don't sing. Don't sing. Just leave it like that. All right, fine. Yes. On Just move. On the low key. Yes, All right, right. talking about. Well, but, but, but seriously, are we having kind of a sort of um, uh, as if um, uh, like uh, what do you call that now when you say you have um, work free day? Is that where? Uh, around Ogun State, I don't know. Work free day for who? I don't know for Why? public government. Uh, Why? Why work free Traders day? or something. Today's twenty six. Yes, today public holiday. No, it isn't public holiday. Are you sure? I think it is. You know, you know why I just said that. I got out of my house. Now, I could barely count how many vehicles I saw out there. That's because she said happy feels scarcity today. No, this is beyond that. Now, go to Kuta Market. You hardly find people around there. Really? Yes. Why? In fact, the woman selling Ugu. <laughs> I almost got to go yesterday. I wanted to get to Ugu this morning to make something. You know, I loved, you know, taking Ugu very early in the <laughs> morning for... Master Hot. Master Hot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's nowhere to be found. Why, why, why are we having, uh, we're always having this fuel scarcity or something. Okay. 
Now, the big question is, 2015, it happened between, and that there was a one-week warning, like, uh, that's November, and, you know, people actually rushed down to stations to get fuel, and the same, I got in, like, a week plus, it wasn't funny, 2015, and now, 2016, same, it happened the same uh, November, and moved towards December, but the only thing about the 2016 period was, uh, we, we had supplies of fuels. The um, fuel st stations were selling. We're selling at an exorbitant price, like oh, okay. 20, 2, 250, 240, 2 and all of that, and all wow, of that. That was a year. And now we are having it again from this December. Mm. And this time, although we are having some selling for 165, 160, and you know what they do? It's that jazz festival. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Festive season of fuel casting. Festive season. Of fuse casting. And it's been happening. Ah, yeah, you said three from, from all the way from 2015 till this moment. Yes, two years counting. Still counting. Yeah, counting. And some sell for 165, and some not even having at all. But luckily, from my research, it's it's obvious that to come 28 of this month, everything will be stabilized. Yes, yeah. according to because uh, it's uh, most times it does not really get into. According to who? Yeah, my research okay, statistics. statistics. Yeah, trust me, 28. Huh? Oh me! Oh no! You know, you know, the trust you've lost it from me a very long time ago. But my dear, can't you just support this dream? Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, feel um forecast. <laughs> it's called <laughs> feel <laughs> forecast. Now, from my hair, <laughs> twenty eight of December, I promise it's gonna be. You promise? Yeah. I even oh, okay. Me. Wait, am I saying promise? <laughs> oh God! I foresee it coming to an end mm. this weekend. Yeah, okay. because um, I, I can't just wait, my dear. Man's not hot. And away from that, please, I think we should, at this point in time, be very, very careful of staying okay. around this um, uh, fuel stations. We've got crowds. You make calls and all of that. It's not advisable, uh, okay, to keep away from. You know, it's the festive season. You just have to be very careful. Explosion, especially when you have dry season. It's not always good when you have um, dry season. And yeah, you, yeah. Uh, some of those gadgets, they, they've got really hard ones on them. Radiation, that when it gets into you, whatever nozzle now, you, you get, you have to be very careful. Yeah. That's just of one course. thing. It's just three days to Christmas. Yeah. And, you know, we just have to leave to eat the chicken. Mm -hmm. Three days to Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Officially, we'll come on board to Rock Lunch. <laughs> okay, now let's start with the Rock Riddle. You know, gee, we've got Rock Riddle. We've got Cool Facts. We've got Entertainment Gist. And, of course, we've got a game segment. So, today, we're starting with the Rock Riddle, as usual. Now, what is the Rock Riddle? You just said that. I don't, I'm asking you, like, uh, what is... Well, if you want to know what the rock riddle is, cuckoo, give it to them, pretty hot. <laughs> I'm telling you to do me the honor of telling them what the rock riddle is. Well, there's a saying, ladies first. No, and I'm telling you as a lady to do bad. I'll be a gentleman and I'll buy to what I'm saying. I'll okay. Uh, uh. I fly. <laughs> Where are you flying to? <laughs> I fly without wings. I'm flying without wings. That was like. Okay, you heard that. She just said it. I'm flying without wings. What am I? <laughs> How simple is that? That's life. Well, she's saying, I fly without wings. What am I? Yes, Westlife. Westlife. You think the answer is Westlife? Send a body short code. 32120. <laughs> type Rock River Space. Type, type Westlife. Send it to 32120. Now, she just said that. I fly without wings. What am I? Is it's a, a riddle, though. It's a riddle, so really. That's... Yeah, I fly without wings. That's a riddle. You just listen to it. It sounds so dumb. <laughs> now, talking about flying without wings. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But, but, but it's funny. I fly without wings. More for lacy, yeah. Yeah. You see, yeah, wings. Yes, yeah is wings. Mm, yeah is wings. Mm. More for lacy, apa, apa is whatever. Oh, why, please? Why, you're not twisting things. I'm you're not twisting. What's your problem? Yeah, yeah. More for lacy, yeah. Send it via the shots. Go three, two, one, two, zero. I fly without wings. Fine. What am I? Send it via the shots. code three, two, one, two, zero. Straight down to. We're picking our men lucky winners today. Three. Three lucky winners, fastest finger, and of course two random winners. Uh, lucky ones. So, so the money merrier. Mm. Yeah, you know I will do it now. Mm. <sighs> Today we're looking at facts about <laughs> pin pulls. Mm -hmm. Pin pulls for people who have pimples. <laughs> All right, for people who 
nose got pimples on them. I don't know what I say. Pimples. <laughs> yeah. Please, I need you to listen and listen to this. This is good. Now, I, well, I don't. I really don't have pimples on me, and I've really I've been keeping this for good um over fifteen years. I've never had one on me. No, mm, you can hug whatever transformer. Now. My dear, no, mm, I'm serious. But, but, but it tells a lot, okay? But for you, if you have got it. No, hey. no. Google said Google has got it. Now look at my face. I used an example. Which one is if you have got I'm it? I'm not using your face as an example. But fine. If you just want me to use it, Google's got like few like 10. Okay. So you can even count them. Yeah. yeah. So please, I need you to understand. Blackheads ain't dirty. Oh, and dead. Oh, so when you have those black things on it. They're not dead, okay? You can relax. Those black hairs you see on your face and chunks of that lodged in your pores. Black hairs are actually oxidized oil in skin cells that has been collected inside the pores. They are located inside the oil gland at the opening of the hair follicle. So that's a misconception. When you have black hair, you feel it's a dirt. It's, it's not a dirt, okay? okay. It's just uh, when you have oil in it, a collection of oil inside the oil, that pour. But but, but seriously, I, I do that a lot. Uh, can I help you just put it off? Yeah, you get to find out why or it's not good enough. Now, white stuff in white hair, that white stuff is made up of a lot of stuff. Like, so if you if you succumb to the temptation to pop a white hair, just like Chino just said, now you know that the white hair stuff in the white hair is pus. And um, what is pus? Pus. Um, oh, yeah, Egusi? No. You call it Egusi? More specifically, it is skin cells. It is skin cells. It is all, it is sebum, it is bacteria, and it is an uh, inflammatory cell. So when you see white heads, what is it? What that pus? They are oil skin, they are, uh, they are skin cells, they are cerebellum, they are bacteria, and they are inflammatory cells. So know that today. Alright, that clear stuff is a sign of inflammation. You have popped a zate. Well, you get that once you start. It's difficult to stop when you, yeah, yeah. The zit, that is if you press your pimple, that thing that comes out is called a zit. So, you yeah. find it very hard to stop. And after remove, after popping it out, you know there is this white clear um uh, surface. Like, yes, that, mm, that is this um clear substance that comes from it after the white of uh, it. Yeah, your will you say egusi oju. No, yes, but definitely <laughs> no. Yes, which one should I take? Yeah. That liquid. I'm just trying to tell you that, that liquid is called a serous fluid. Hmm. That is what the liquid is called. After you popped it, you can call it, the, and it is made out of proteins and water. Now, when you're talking about this steroid fluid, it is normally made up of uh, by tissues of the body, and it increases when inflammation occurs, which explains why we find it in pimples. So yes, you know you you might be so you may be wondering after the white that have been removed, what is that um watery substance called? It is called a serous fluid. Yes, Sarah's views. Yeah, I, I love the fact that you're really going into this, and I'm so happy about it because, well, I don't have pimples on me. The majority of the big, big, we, don't, we just see pimples appear on our faces. We don't even know why, how they come about it. Oh, this is your. Yes, people, people determine that, okay, fine, it comes with puberty and all that. But yes, it comes with puberty. But some else? say it comes with a monthly cycle and all of that. Definitely. Yeah. No, no, some say it, it is a fact. It is a known fact. No, no, all facts. It is a known fact. I'm not saying it is general. It is general to everybody, but it is a known fact. Because, it okay. Comes with some, it, like, because if you find one thing. on my face, you don't expect me to tell me, uh, to say Who I'm going to. Yeah, well, because ah. you're saying, uh, um, <laughs> all right, all pimples are formed the same way. All pimples are formed in the same way doesn't matter whether they are white haired black haired or those annoying under the skin well away from the pimples are formed when oil and old skin cells block pores and trap bacteria in them that is when the pimples are formed mm. old skin cells the oil and the old skin cells, they block when they're trapped and they're trapped in bacteria that's why you see fish all right all right I, I, I rest my case. So that is when the zit is formed too. That white thing that usually comes out. That's the zit. Mm. Okay. You do even know before. I don't need to know because I don't have that. I, I will never have that. Now, prevention is the most important. Treating pimples is all about prevention. I've been looking for ways to prevent people seriously. And I'm very sure you listening and you have one. You're like, yes, talking about present prevention. How can I get it now? For an easy DIY approach. What is DIY? That is do it yourself approach. 
you have you, you crush aspirin into a paste you know what aspirin is then you apply it on a pimple for like 10, 10 minutes before raising it up for good prevention yes i want to try this but i've not tried it before so i really don't know how effective uh, this is but it is um a research it's a study has been proven right that when crushing aspirin and you know put it on, the, on the, um, in a liquid form paste it on your face it prevents um pimples from resurfacing well you know, one thing you should know is you should never never pop a pimple that is what you want to do when you anytime you see like yeah making that tar. i eat that thing don't tie for me why are you tying <laughs> who are you tying for like seriously you will <laughs> you will see some people's feeling no no let me bring no, up no, I, I, I know a friend who you. never like, let you why are you popping anything it's not it's my face like it's i, I face. feel like just popping this out I don't now pop anything. seriously i don't my i don't pop my pimples i'm very too dry it will, it will dry off then it will peel off itself but you popping it for me and the white fluid will come out then after the white you see the red the, the blood coming out really you're just creating problems like really big problems for you so the best thing is just to leave your pimples you should never pop a, no matter what the type of people you have you should not pop it doesn't matter how tempting it is instead you apply a warm compress to your skin and go to probably you are dermatologist. not really with a dermatologist here. Yeah, I feel like you're just wasting money, but I tell you, it's a good thing to know the type of skin you have so that you will know the type of uh, treatment. What, what type of skin do you have? Soft skin? Hard yeah, skin? I've got a very soft skin. So, soft what? A skin. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can we just move straight down to the wrong crater? My dear, if your skin is a definition of a soft skin, <laughs> I wonder what you're talking about, my skin. Okay. <laughs> you're just full of jealous comments with I don't know your problem. All right, don't worry. It's will it's will solve itself, January. But I want to be a cool guy. Definitely, please do. <laughs> now, these are facts about pimples. pimples. Okay. Never yeah. pop a pimple. Seriously, never. Prevention is very, very important. All pimples are formed the same way, so don't think that because this one is blackheads, one is whitehead, and one is this one, that one, they all resolve into a bacteria. And of course, you know how to. And it's a there is this clear stuff that is a sign of inflammation which is called the serous fluid that is what it's called and white cells in white hairs is made up of a whole lot of cells which we identified as skin cells oil uh, sebums bacteria and inflammatory cells and of course blackheads ain't you know that blackheads aren't dirt so so when you, you find them and you don't feel you're dirty don't feel you're oh my god i've not washed my it's not no yeah, no 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 and they are located inside the oil gland yes. at the opening of the hair follicle. That's all about pimples. I've been wanting to know about pimples. Yes, now yes. she finally has gotten a result for that. Yes. My dear, do it yourself really helps. I've been here for 15 years, my face I looking fresh. Why not do me a favor? Just ask me a simple <laughs> oh, you know, what treatment. Why have maintained the look for years without having just spot just one? Just because you're blessed with a very smooth face doesn't mean <sighs> Can I please go to the next level? Hello, please. You take that as a compliment. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the rock radio once again. Don't forget, I fly without wings. What am I? I fly without wings. What am I? Send your answer via the short code 32120. Type rock with a space, type your insane, include your beautiful name. Send to 32120. Yeah, yeah. Straight into the entertainment, Jays. Oh my god, it's all lovely. I got this very lovely one here. So excited when I saw it. Yeah. Talking about the Nicholas James. You know the Nicholas James? Oh, yeah, very lovely. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just, it's a very <laughs> good one. Yeah, it's a very good one. Popular motivational speaker, born without limbs, welcome a set of twins with his wife. That is amazing. <laughs> I saw the picture and I was moved to tears. Oh my God, twins, baby girl, so cute. I love both of you. Now, Nicholas James Voicich, the Australian evangelist and motivational speaker who manages to do everything by himself though he was born with our hands and legs and they call that um tetra amelia syndrome that is what it's called he has welcomed a set of identical twins with his wife kane voicic and they were born on december 20 2017 and the proud father took to facebook to announce the news and the girls have been named olivia mel voicic and ellie laurel voicic and they also have a son together what a lovely hmm. Like that is 
and the capable seriously not handicapped now and the capable that is what i call very motivating very very motivating congratulations to them to the uh, 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 yeah yes uh, i think that tells a lot about um you whatever you, with difficulty of finding yourself exactly whatever situation you find it's yes. not the end of the world even if they, but there's some people out there that there's so many people that are motivated that are so so inspiring to the world mm -hmm. uh, someone like Hoover, like I tell you, you don't know, feel like Kobams is blind and he plays, he plays virtually anything on the keyboard. And look at for each age, he doesn't have hands, no legs, and yet he's going places. He, 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 he's actually an alumni of Griffith University. Like, he's a degree older. You don't get it. <sighs> he's 35 years old huh? and he's an achiever. Let me just put it that way. Well, 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 away from that. One to this. Ten months after Patson Ways with the veto, Kamal Ajibuye takes over as Shay Shay's manager. I'm looking for more drama in 20 years. 18. No, no, no drama here. No, I'm, I'm not. No, I'm just no, no, no. Because if you've seen drama, the only thing is, oh, well, well. I'm just, I said I look forward to drama. Like what drama are you drama. looking at? I need you to be very straight about this. Okay. Early in the year, Nigerian proves that the video fell out with his manager of four years, Kamar Ajiboye. Now Kamar, who doubles as the ceo of 2020 and 2020 management company has taken over the official manager of female singer shay shay before now shay shay used to be managed by her longtime friend chidema fondly called didi chick in the industry before the parted ways a couple of months back since taking over as her manager kamar and the singer successfully held the shay shay experience concerts at uh, crossroads equal hotel and all of that now the fact is come on <laughs> leaving the video for shay shay he didn't leave he said he parted ways yeah, uh, left oh uh, no well you know you know um from reports they mm. said um the video sacked him mm -hmm. and he came up to say come the video didn't sack me left because that is it. yeah so there's no report that actually said okay unless you okay. separated no the separation uh, because there were separate ways and when is it separate? <laughs> That's the best thing. We, we really don't know who sat to or who left the brand. But talking about Kamar, uh, you know, taking up Shay Shay. That's a good one because Kamar is a very good manager. Yeah. That's right. But Shay Shay uh, 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 and Davido. All right. I think something yeah, is going to be. It will minimize all the twirl, all the falling down, and all the EP. All right. <laughs> it's not a shame though, but really, you know, you know, try to recall it all that happens, uh, that had happened rather during the year. <laughs> all right, I, I think this is what we do, um, probably. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll bring out your fast uh, events. Yes, but in massive events that are that stories rather than that. The trending stories that it stood out this 2017. Ah. And it shook us when it broke when it came. Ah. On Polar Day, if you want it, please take it. Uh, and uh, next time, next time I wake up to find these people come up to do something, I'll have to go back to sleep. Well, it is like, it's, well. It's, it's, been, it's been an amazing year, I must say, both in the entertainment industry and... Uh, but we heard less of the Nollywood in, um, that's the movie scene in Nigeria. That's because we don't really, really talk about them. I really don't know why they escape the... Well, let, me, let me say the... The media touch the or media rich gossip. I don't know why. No, they didn't aside escape. from the normal drama, you know, individual dramas, okay. Jojo DK, book, 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 book. but you know, Nollywood, that like that, that this block that blockbuster like um Emeka Ike's issue mm -hmm. with the blah blah blah. You know, we have not you know experienced such you know massive. I, I guess we're coming for them. Let's just coming, go for them. Let's go for them. Coming from we're, Nollywood. We're coming for Nollywood this season. <laughs> Because I don't know, they escaped us. It's just Tonto DK on the page and all of that. Talk, talking when, about seriously, when it comes to have you heard of Tonto DK's latest? I don't want to talk about and anything that comes to you. seriously. Yeah, I, I try She's to avoid going for all of this and all this. Stories. stories. I really don't. You know, you don't. I don't know why. Tonto baby, we're coming for you. <laughs> now, to the very last one, to my Kardashians. Now, Koi Oh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, 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 she don't like talking about these people, and I just like, no, I just care about them. Then we're bringing up a reality <laughs> show in Nigeria where Cuckoo 
will have to be part of the Chloe Kardashian's family. Chloe Kardashian should not be bombed for first time. Yeah, that's in September. I'm rumored about it. That yes. Now Chloe, uh, Chloe Kardashian for the first time has revealed her baby bomb since she announced that she was expecting a baby, and I was even looking forward to the baby to the baby bomb. But yet, now the beautiful reality show star took to her Instagram page when she posted a picture of herself and her boyfriend uh, Tristan Thompson showing the already protruding in belly and, and it was recalled that him uh, spoke, uh, spoke about the news about um, Chloe's pregnancy in September 2017 everybody was actually looking forward to that report but later I would put it that Chloe Kardashian was three months pregnant with Tristan's baby and the sex of the child wasn't known yet but now we know but yet the sex of the child is not known but I saw the protruding belly and the epistle she wrote and how happy she is to, uh, to, to you know to be a mother to soon become a mother and all of that I'm just so happy for the Kardashians especially Chloe yes <sighs> yes are you are you done with them yes I'm done with I them. love one thing about this you know Kardashian's family everybody talking about what it what what exactly is it about this um baby bomb mm. oh can you do a baby bomb mm. can you do that I'm an African you're an African mm. uh-huh <laughs> oh that, no they see so Africans we can do things like that I'm a Muslim. oh Muslims are not meant to do baby bombs why would I do that I said me I'm talking about myself I'm Please not talking about no, I'm, I'm saying you can do a baby I bomb. said me that is that is what I'm Basing my own no reason on you don't understand. But you can do the bridal shower. No, yeah, the thing before what's that thing you do? You bring yourself in water. There's a difference between a baby shower and a bridal shower. Okay. I really don't see any big deal in bridal shower, but okay. I see a big deal in baby shower. And you can do the be um the birthday thing too. Oh, lovely! I'm doing that very soon. You know, my birthday is coming up. So you. So I'm really really gonna shoot that. I will personally come to the venue and scatter the place. That is it because I really don't understand why a grown up woman will go and bring Baloo selling me she's Coco. Hello, you're going to see that pretty soon. So don't I'm worry. going to get you pure. I don't have to. You just don't invite me because I am coming in there. It's a shoot. Uh, right there. You uh, just see pictures. I see pictures. Yes, see All right. pictures. You we'll like, don't like them. Oh, pictures, jealousy. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Talking about baby bombs, no problem. You keep doing the baby bomb thing. You try it in Nigeria. They use pins. Oh, there are so the many pe people that have done that. And they'll really have to see the lovely baby bombs from Nigeria celebrities. Hey, please. All right, fine. Let's just go. Fine, yes. fine, whatever. Rock radio. I fly without wings. What am I? Send your answer via the shots code three two one two zero. We're going to short music break from Joy Langa, and she calls this together. Together we stand. Ooh, it's down on the beach. 